And what's up? This Mustang Fugai expert, and welcome back to GTA 5. We have yet another vehicle in the brand new Ill Gotten Games Part 2. Now, for some reason, they add another freaking Corvette. But I like the Corvettes in this game, I really do. I'm actually, I was actually about to buy one before the update came out and the Rally Player came out. Hi! But. Like, I was kind of about the C7. But really, you could have added like a 67 Mustang or a 69 Boss 302 or something other than a Corvette. Come, come on, we have three Corvettes in the game. I mean, I like this car. Sounds nice and everything, looks cool. But really, there's three in the game. We don't really need any more. Especially since like half of, especially since two thirds of them are classics. So let's see what you can do with it. You can put a, oh, you can put a, a chin splinter now. Roll cage and chassis upgrades, yes. And then, you can put side exhaust on it. I don't want to use the side exhaust. What the? That just looks weird. That just does. I don't like that. No. I like that though. That's no. Cause there's a lot of upgrades, but I don't really like them. Oh, you have a no roof. That's cool. I like that. I do like that a lot. I like that. We're doing that. Let's put the suspension on just because it's super low. And finally tuning. So the car is pretty cool a little bit a bit of modifications not a huge amount but there are still pretty good ones i like how it can be a convertible though i like how it can be that watch it my car is more than all these cars in the area combined because this car believes around eight hundred and thirty thousand dollars making it the most expensive corvette in the game beating the six hundred fifty thousand dollar Corvette Stingray convertible in the sixty um last in the flight school update. So yeah, let's head on over to the Top Gear test track to see how this is compared to the rest of the vehicles. We're at the airport, and we're about ready to get this on the road in three, two, one, go. Now, I must say, from driving here, the performance is better, especially the handling aspect. That is much better than the, um, Quovet Classic. Well, it's sort of funny, because this is, I think, is older than the Quovet Classic. I think this is supposed to be, like, a 50s or 60s. Well, the Quovet is definitely 67, 68. No, shoot. So, I do like the car, but I'm just getting tired of all these Corvettes, because, I mean, I am I sort of like them. They're not definitely not my favorite car. I don't want them to have, like, a new Mustang or at least, like, a Ferrari or something. Because they only have one Ferrari, and they only have one Mustang. Meanwhile, they have three Corvettes. So, I don't get it, but whatever. So, the handling... It's a little better than the classic, but not as good as the um Corvette. Quote what? Yeah. So it's not as good as the new one, but it's better than the old one. And you see, I didn't even hit the handbrake there, and it's sort of slow. A little. And across the line. At a very good time, I'm surprised by this time. 1 minute, 32 seconds, and 45 milliseconds. That's actually pretty good. Uh-oh. So, the car, I have to say, 
I like the stock rims, I like the look of it, but I'm just getting tired of all these Clovettes. But from like a pure non-biased version, it is a very good vehicle. And I would highly recommend getting it. So any, well I wouldn't recommend getting it because it's $800,000. But if it was cheaper, I would recommend it. So due to price, I would not recommend it for the, because, but that's it for this episode of GTA 5. And I'll be back with more.